How's it going, Charles Botenston? And today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between consumers and agents. Something that, and this is literally a radical shift that has happened in the last 10 years. Obviously the internet is way older than that, but if you think about it, the internet really has transformed since apps, since technology, since we've democratized the internet. In other words, it's a lot cheaper to do things. You don't have to be in the United States. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can do whatever you want. You could literally have your phone. It's super easy. And what I've been thinking about is, you know, in 2009, when I first started, early 2009, it was totally different because street easy, street easy wasn't as prevalent. You know, people were still using big brokerage brokerage houses because they had the brand name, they had all the listings, they had everything that you needed. Then it started shifting to the actual agent. And it was always about the agent, but it's like, Understandable, you work at Elman, Corcoran, Halstead, Compass, wherever, but how is the agent? So it started to shift more towards the agent and less on the brand. And ironically enough, that's when I literally said there's going to be a, a massive just movement offline and it's going to be, or online I should say, and it's also going to be really empowering the agents who are really good. So then we started going into a further actual area of real estate, which is the agent in s themselves are, they feel entitled because this shift, this wave has happened so quickly. This wave has literally happened in the last five or six years. And the agent felt entitled because they said, I've been, I worked with them in the past. I've worked with them for the last 10 years. I've worked with them for the last three years. The consumer said, oh, okay, you know, that's great. But this person I heard was better. But the last two years, this is very important. The last two years has been a massive, just monumental shift in the fact that there's a lot of entitlement going on. And essentially, as a broker who needs to survive in a consumer's world, this is what happened is Amazon came on and they offered free shipping. They offered lower prices. They offered reviews. They offered everything that you couldn't really get at a traditional retailer. Retailers are just getting crushed right now. And actually in New York City, I was talking to a commercial agent yesterday and he was saying that New York City, the pricing on a lot of the commercial spaces that he's representing, and he's been in it for a lot of years, he's representing are very close to the 1990s pricing. Obviously that's not across the board. It's obviously gone up. It's just, there's a couple of storefronts that they're just, they, ha they have so much vacancy right now. So there's two things. Number one is the consumer feels entitled be as they should because they've, they've been aware of Amazon and all these other services that are pr producing all this information. You don't need to buy a book if you could watch a YouTube video and learn about it. You don't have to uh, talk to a real estate agent about say debt to income ratio, post-closing liquidity, or all the comparables, it's all online. And listen, I'm not trashing um, agents on this. What I'm saying is that they're, they're entitled to all this information or they feel they're entitled to all this information. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have agents that are also entitled. You know, they're saying, I, you know, kind of what I said before, which is I worked with them in the past. Why are they not working with me in the future? Why are they trying to sell on their own? Why are they looking to buy on their own? Or even worse, they find out that their past client has used someone else, is using someone else, or doesn't even need them. So there's this entire, this, this entire spectrum of entitlement that the bridge needs to be gapped between these, these two parties. And the number one thing is understanding the difference that the internet has brought. And, and I'll just give you this, this one example is um, typically up until about two years ago, a consumer that was looking to buy or sell or anything like that would actually call you and say, hey, listen, in about six months, I'm looking to buy, or in six months, I'm looking to sell. And now what they're doing is they're checking out all of their research beforehand. They're going online and saying, what can I actually sell my home for? What can I actually buy? What's in my price range? So they're actually doing that. And if they don't find anything, or they actually want to use an agent, they say, hey, listen, I'm already searching. It's a very big shift in the mindset of the consumer. So for the agents out there, we need to get not only better on Information's already out there. It's not about information. It's, a, it's about an experience. And that's essentially why I started BPI is we need to give, and we're shifting uh, tremendously from the experience of literally the first time that we talk all the way to closing. We have to create an experience the entire time. So that's essentially the shift that we're taking. The consumer's not changing. The consumer feels empowered. That's where they're going. They're gonna go online. They're gonna get all their information. For the agent, we need to, so Gary Keller is not correct and have double digit exits in the industry is, 
We need to provide not only an, an incredible service, an incredible experience, we have to really raise our game because the internet has raised the consumer's game, we need to raise our game. So I hope that helps a little bit on the difference say five years ago as opposed to two years ago and where we're gonna go in the future between consumers and agents. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon.